Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says rules of UN Charter will work to help the war with Russia during Security Council meeting. One day in this hall, it will surely be said that Russia's war against Ukraine has ended, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said. Russia's war against Ukraine will end because the UN Charter will work. Zelensky's speech in the UN Security Council came amid the United Nations General Assembly debate. Action is needed, Zelensky said. Russia can only be forced into peace. One day in this hall, it will surely be said that Russia's war against Ukraine has ended, not frozen, not paused, not forgotten, truly ended. And this will happen not because someone got tired of the war, not because someone traded something with Putin. Russia's war against Ukraine will end because the UN Charter will work. And we are defending what every nation would surely want to protect for itself and what the UN Charter grants to all. And it is Russia that always has to lie to justify its war, not us. Russia cannot refer to the UN Charter to explain what it is doing against us, against Ukraine. Ukrainians are wounded and killed every day. Today, once again, Russian bombs hit residential buildings. Even an ordinary bread factory became a target. What's so threatening to Russia about making bread? Putin has no answer and Russia never, never has an honest answer when asked why its army kills children in Ukraine, defeats schools and hospitals, and fights not for justice, but for a blackout for a neighboring nation. From the very first second of this war, Russia has been doing things that cannot possibly be justified under the UN Charter. Every destroyed Ukrainian city, every burned village, and there are already hundreds and hundreds swords as proof that Russia is committing an international crime. Action is needed, and I'm grateful to all the nations that are truly helping in ways that save the lives of our people. Putin has broken so many international norms and rules that he won't stop on his own. Russia can only be forced into peace. And that is exactly what's needed, forcing Russia into peace as the sole aggressor in this war, the sole violator of the UN Charter. Unity always works for peace. And we have to prepare the second peace summit to end the war altogether. And I invite all of you, all principled nations, to join us in this process, all who truly respect the UN Charter. This is reflected in the peace.